Uh, we'll just go ahead. I mean, you said infested. So I feel a swift resolution to this should be applying damage to everything on the battlefield. Especially useful if you decide to place multiple copies of each rat. Wow, you are actually making this easy for me. Uh, okay. Well, I'll just get you sped up a little bit more. Just yes, for shickles. Gather what you can and leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, got to level up. Nice. Uh, I think we're going to start increasing intelligence here. I don't think Destiny is going to be particularly useful for a, a warrior. Right. What do we have here, though? The Shmoo directs you to an old straw hut sitting on a chicken leg. Surrounded by low hanging mist and the smell of baked cookies and burnt sugar. Hmm. This certainly looks like a witch's hut. Could even be the Baba Yaga. Shout at the toad for leaving you here. Doesn't look friendly. Approach cautiously. The Shmoo looks scared by your outburst. He gets nervous hiccups. Oh. What's a Baba Yaga? <laughs> the lady there? <laughs> she is good. She helps us. You feel you are being watched. Tell whoever resides within the hut that the toad seems to think they will help, and you wish no conflict. Magic user, say that whatever tricks you are to work here, you are no fool. Fool, you wish only to hand over the toad. Ah, a wise one or what not. Me, I am a simple demon, a yaga. But that is of no concern to you. This here, little fellas, the only one left of our demons from the swamps. So leave him with me, and be on your way. No tricks for me, swear. Those eyes bulging out, my lord. How did the other demons disappear? The light came. Earth parted once more, and this time, it was not Come empty out, inside. All who see it are taken or destroyed. No in between with that lot. The light did it? That is what I said and saw. A light so bright, it is darkness. If it finds you lacking, you wither away and become air. It devours, it takes, it does not need or want. It does only as it will. If it wills, it wants, surely. Perhaps. All I know is the demons were there one day. Then they all changed. Filled to the brim, overflowing inside. Driven by emptiness. Driven to walk away from their nature. Did they add more voice lines? I don't recall this being voiced over a year ago. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I'll be honest on that one, Leafin, but certainly in Thea 1, that was the case. Gradually, over time, the uh, the lines got fleshed out. A force took control of the demons from the swamp. So, how is she still here? A force, perhaps. They saw the light and are gone. My hut knows how to hide, so we hid, we watched, we waited. Me and the toad, the only ones left. Thank you so much for the five gifts of the Dielham Vaur Yaun Bleach Clem. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. Bleach Ken? I hope that's somewhat close. Hi, dude. I've been watching your content since Nomoria back in the day. And thanks to you, I have put around 200 hours into that game. After all these years, you keep making good content, and I'm glad I catch a stream once in a while. Oh, thank you, mate. That's such a kind thing to say. Cheers. 
Uh, so she has magic protecting him, but the shmoo? The shmoo? Oh, the toad. Well, it is not as it seems. Hmm. It was there in the middle. Saw it all. I doubt its tiny mind comprehends. But if you take its curse away, maybe it could tell you more. All right. What curse? It is not a shmoo, obviously. It is a cursed thing, and that is why it stayed. The light was too weak to break it, to take it. That is good. Or is it? Or is it, chat? Is she asking me? Not really, no. But you must know demons are made of magic. We are bound to it, bound to laws stronger than our own will. We cannot break those bonds. Not without other bonds, prices, deals, tricks. Those who left, they just left. How? All right. So you say the toad could tell us more. Can you break its curse? Do we kiss it or something? <laughs> kiss it or not? Kiss it. Kiss it. Yes. That will work. Magic user, the kiss will connect us with the curse, and then we can try to break free together, yes? Ah, clever. Dangerous. Clever you are. I was going to ask for payment, but I see I'm dealing with professionals. So let us just do it, yes? <laughs> Not an agreement for now. All who wish to partake will lick the toad three <coughs> times. Then take the sweat from their armpits and mark the creature's face with it. This way, I will join you all. The curse will then attack you too. If you succeed, you may break it. I'm just going to say... I'm not sure what passes for a kiss in, in demon lands, but... Okay, uh, and if you fail, you will likely be stung by the magic, but nothing more. Okay, perform the ritual kiss. The ritual kiss. Uh, okay, let's have a look. At you, you're the only one that really worries me. Out of these, let's begin. We're still wandering around with just a group of six people. One of them is a child. All right. Let us get you into play. Followed by... Energy Disturb. I can... You, yeah, I'm not going to put any more cards down. I'm going to use first your speed up. There we go. And then I'm going to hold off. I may use Dark Avex. Yeah, we will use Dark Avex uh, ability next. We are going to go for this one. Let's drop the potential damage output here. It doesn't really matter because now that there's three of them in play, Dark Avex attack is going to wipe them anyway. You'll still get an attack, but it won't matter. Thank you. 
And the reason why I haven't split up my party is because I haven't set up a town. If I'd already set up a town, I'd probably just be roaming with Dark Avac, um, Future Planet, Shadow Star, and uh, Ascugia. We'd be avoiding most combats and just taking our time. Since they actually have a reasonable spread of abilities. Well, that being said, I might just take Dark Havoc, Shadow Star, Anubis, and As uh, Ascugia. Um, I'll just leave these guys at the back. Uh, let's go ahead and drop your abilities. Slow you down a little bit more. Not sure that I'm going to be able to get Dark Avac sped up enough. Oh no, there we are. And splat. The curse breaks, and the Kamuch turns into a tall young man with golden fins and gills. His eyes sparkle like gems. Thank the waters, that was insufferable. Mm, that's what he is. I am a Vodnik. I was, well, I was courting a Rasalka, and it's strictly forbidden, you see. Anyway, her slimy sister turned me into the dumb creature. That's why she cursed him. Um, I tried to get it on with another Rasalka. It is forbidden, but, well, I am a prince, I suppose you could say. My father is the Vodnik who rules over our waters, so I thought I could get away with it. Naughty, naughty. Prince, then, after all, ask for a reward. Yes, yes, I'm not going to marry one of your fluffy lot, you can forget that. But I can give you a few trinkets and thanks. Uh, I think doesn't this quest have an option if you've got a beautiful attractive woman that the prince will offer to give her still you know there's no marriage or at least not that I'm aware of but will kiss her I think and confer some sort of bonus Dazzling artifact, mantle shielding there, monster jewelry, that's not too bad. Oh, uh, I mean, well, we do actually have a beautiful character. Oh no, just attractive. Yeah, there's so many hidden options in this game. Uh, well, that's kind of junky, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I feel that he can do better than this. A prince. I went a great deal of effort. Demand me. I'm getting irked with your tone, but you saved me, so I'll let it pass. <laughs> I guess that's not going to be happening. Okay. He's irked with the tone. No. 
I guess, I guess he's royalty after all. Not used to dealing with us raggedy lot. First we saved you, now we kill you for loot. Nah. Ask about the disappearing demons. Mm, it's all so very foggy, my dear. The Kamuch was so undignified and dumb. I felt a touch of something. It was burning, yet ice cold. Light, but in its purest raw form. It spoke of unison, order, ultimate peace. It sought to touch me, but the curse kept me hidden. The others, they were not so lucky. I saw them walk so straight, so depleted of life, yet living. They went towards one of the chasms left by the shattering. Then they were gone. Uh, no, I haven't done a, a murder hobo run. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I mean, I'll ask him to join. I, I very much doubt that that's even possible, but... Oh, that's sweet, but no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bloody royalty. And say our farewells. The witch who came with you waves goodbye as well. Off I go then. Did my bit. Hope you get him, whoever them are. And say goodbye and leave. Oh well, 3.8. I do not feel that that is even remotely as good of an outcome as you, you could get, but uh, it'll have to do. Problem is, we are legitimately in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, right, I need both of these gathered as quick as possible. We got any? No, we can't make any more food. We've got eight turns of food. Our movement speed is going to be decreased, but. If we gather up a decent amount of, of logs, we'll set off soon. Head over here and make some food from from that stuff. I think it should should count. Oh thank goodness. Oh hello. Resist their entrancing charms and try to intimidate them instead. Magic user or mysticism, descend yourself by the strength of your spirit. Um, no, we'll see what uh, what this one goes down with. Actually, you know what? Let's auto resolve. Oh, still with vic uh, with um, injuries. Well, let's see how our Zerka can do when I'm manually controlling the battle. Okay, first and foremost. I know we'll be acting a tad bit slower with this, but that's fine. Mm. We can use an outmaneuver for 21. Just back you up there. Drop in a shield. Now it's all going to be the same character, basically. And every time we hit, we're going to take health off both of them. Go for weakness. Do you have anything you offer? Uh, sure. Make you even faster. However, we're not in the first game where you used to summon almost any demon or monster when you got powerful enough. Can you do such things in this game? Um, how do you mean ways to summon? I'm not sure on that one. Down to only doing 100 damage. I'm dead. OK, 
Okay, we've got a little bit of bonus there. And Dark Ava got a level up. Not bad. Not bad at all. Could go for Wits here. Speed up just a little bit, but... Oof. That... Uh, I am tempted. Nah, I think we're going to go with mysticism. Two mysticism is way too good. Ooh, definitely the two intelligence, though, for our healer. Right, let's have a look. Time to break camp, I think. Got enough fuel for 24 turns. I could stop here, actually. Do a bit of fishing. Or swoop through and take out the light bringer spawn. I think it's going to be the spawn. Move on, grab the uh, items there. You'll notice, uh, though, it, it doesn't uh, really do a good job of, of explaining what this is just off the, the screen but the circle around a resource node tells you how easily you can gather it so I'll be gathering these items at three quarters efficiency whereas the fish I could gather at full efficiency you come to a place claimed by the light there are creatures and people here, all standing together, staring into space. When they spot you, they approach. You have come to join us? No. Tell them you have come to talk and perhaps establish a friendship. You are either one of us, or you are not. Come. Light wisps begin to circle you, their cold heat on your skin and burning icicles touching your guts in an attempt at joining. Harmony or intellect, show them the strength of your mind, a will that will not be bent. Or... This form seems imm immaterial. Call upon your domain and face these fiends with your spirit. No, we're going to go in with our mind. And let's have a look at how you're going to fight. You can't use soul tear. You can... Oh, speed of the swarm, I guess. You can, you can use energy disturb for 2.4. And brute force for 4. You are absolutely going to get wrecked. Dear Lord, you've been streaming for long, and I joined while a while ago, but I guess I gotta look it up at the start. <laughs> Hello, May, how are you doing? Right. 26 health, mind. They do have a lot of health. I will give them that much, at least. Yeah, this, this, well, I guess I could just go for... Well, no. Let's go for reliable arguments. It is what you've trained your whole life for. I don't think I'm going to get to the point where she can beat them. Sadly. They're just going to keep speeding up. But what I can do is when they deploy two like that... Take away their teeth. Like, as in completely. I, I, I have removed their teeth. They have none. No more teeth. Could I have a completely safe pill? <laughs> uh, sure. Completely safe pill it is. Now oh, you're a new one. Now, I won't be able to completely declaw these two. I'll drop them a little bit because they're not the same entity. That's good enough, though. It doesn't look like I have much of a choice on where I'm going, so I guess I'm going to take you down. A 
a bit of extra protection. Dark Havoc has learned dentistry. It was super effective. There we go. Now, when... Oh, there we go. When Shadowstar uses that attack, it's just going to wipe out both of them. Nothing we need to worry about. And there we go. Damn it. I was really hoping that we were going to end up with a ghost there, which would give us a little bit more myth, but... Uh, or mysticism, rather. Oh, well. Your resistance weakens something within the Taken Folk, and they banish the light from their souls. Alas, their bodies are too weak and burnt out to survive without the hive mind, and they fall dead, but free. The nest itself burns as if the light would not abide your victory. We gained a load of clay. And a ghost pet. Now that ghost pet literally just gives us the ability to summon a wraith. That's all it does. But uh, a wraith may still be useful. Will it show me what it is? No. Oh well. Uh, I should give someone this, actually. So I'll give it to Dark Havoc so you can block a little bit more. Uh, description. Try calling me a pet again, you pathetic bag of flesh! It is a very good description, it is true. Oh, some more light brings. Right, well, I can actually level up either of these at this point. Uh, I can take reliable argument up to a uh, 38 damage, or inspire up to 1.4. That'll give us a three turn, uh, sorry, three second improvement on the fight queue and 1.7 improvement to combat stats. I think we're going to go with Inspire. And I guess poison throwing daggers because I've got no other reason to. I'm not going to add in the ghostly axe, even though well, technically the ghostly axe wouldn't actually be a bad bad choice. Um, we've already got out maneuver. Yeah, actually, the ghostly axe might not be a bad choice at all because <laughs> the ghostly axe uses. Uh, perception in both spiritual and the uh, spiritual and physical attacks. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. Right. Down to three meals. Okay. Be a monologue of great importance, a beautiful song. Uh, we are going to get in there and resist it in trancing charms and try to intimidate. Auto resolve? Perfect. Okay, we will accept. Uh, well done. Askugia? Doing well there. I don't know if there are any battles or, or the outcomes from battles where you'll get mysticism. I just don't know. Okay, that's all of you. You've actually got an enlightened human there. It's potentially dangerous. That's got much better stats in every regard. Uh, it's tougher than normal. Like, it's got a lot of health, actually. Battle orders, protect others. Light connection, speed, demon. Uh, it is a much better in a physical fight. Like, it is much better in a physical fight. 
Well, actually, that being said. I would say, yeah, I would say it's much better than a physical fight. I would probably do better fighting this in a mental battle. Failing that, fighting it in a... We'll see. If it attacks us, then it's going to be forced. But uh, either a mental battle or a spiritual one. Okay. Not where I saw this going. I guess the crafting skill, given the two options here. Because double toss is going to be garbage for this character, no matter what. So we're just going to have to go with Craftsman then. From four to five, I mean, you know, you're doing well. Well, let's check out this one first. Hidden amid the fog and shrubbery, you discover ancient ruins before you. You find the ruins long abandoned and looted many times over. Just as you're about to give up, you discover a hidden entrance to an underground chamber protected by a huge, heavy slab of stone that once may have been a door. As knowledge is your guide, think of a way to use levers to open this thing. You find a way to open the slab using brains of a brawn. You see a dark corridor leading deeper down. The air is stale. The darkness seems to stare back at you. Go in. You descend down the winding corridor until you reach a chamber with six stone columns. Between them are alcoves with granite chests and vases. Actually, it looks so scary. Just leave. Uh, search the cha chamber. You spot the silhouette of a humanoid creature hanging from the ceiling by columns. They have spotted you as well. Use your knowledge of demon lore to identify these creatures. Uh, they're almost certainly Striga. Striga are living fiends known not only to drink the blood of the living, but also to devour their entrails. They want our sausages. Indeed. They've been playing too much Valheim. Alright. What do you think, chat? We haven't really played around with level 3 fights. I could simply run away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not feeling the level threes yet. We haven't we're still on the most basic of gear. We're gonna run. Uh 1.5 EXP though, just for doing that, so not too bad, all things said and done. I would like to try and engage you. You come across an unusual group of travelers. Oh, right, this was before before then. Uh, a huge spider queen who is sitting atop a wagon. Several smaller spiders rushing around her. A few bees flying, a zerker, and a human warrior. Their heated discussion halts when they see you. They draw weapons and stand ready. Hold! Who goes? shouts the warrior. Tell them you're just passing by. Ask if they need assistance. They cover the wagon, but you spot a lot of blood bones stashed away. They look at each other. The zerker speaks. You're not one of us, so we do not wish for your help. Please, leave us be. Nature, say that your domain is nature, so surely that they can trust you. Intellect, say that as a zerker, you should respect your domain and know that you will consider their case without prejudice, if possible. They lose nothing by sharing their woes with you, after all. Um, or we can go either way. I'm going to go with intellect. Well, I suppose we can share. We were forced out of our nest by humans who took offence to our beliefs. We worship the Lady Diavana, but we see her best reflected as the Spider Queen. The Slavians felt we were disrespectful. They took our home and burned the young as if they were mere beasts. If you truly want to aid us, reclaim our nest. It is rich in blood bones, collected over many years. You can harvest them if you like. 
Ask if they are part of the Stingers faction. Agree to help. Refuse and say you will not go against the Slavians for a spider cult. <laughs> are you a part of the Stingers faction? Yes, but only in the same way that you are a Slavian. We share some beliefs and are kin, but not precisely the same. I agree to help. Of course I will help the Spurgers. Well, you surprise me. Thank you. I will mark the spot where our nest lies. Please hurry before they destroy all we have worked so hard for. Tell them you'll do your best and leave. Okay, quite a lot of EXP there, my lord. Uh, ooh, this is a level 2. Uh, I still fancy we're, we're up to a level 2. Resist the entrancing charms and try to intimidate them instead. Begin. Okay, you do 9 damage. You've got... Uh, uh, you're going to speed up as well. And you've got 33 health. But that being said, I've got a Zerka. Uh, and I will drop a shield immediately. Well. No, she's got so much health. I think you have to attack the closest one. So I'm going to put the uh, Hunter behind with Outmaneuver. At this point, I'm going to start weakening you. That's cut down four damage that they would have been able to apply otherwise. I'm going to pop down a shield as well. If all they... I think they're going to try... No. I was going to say... Oh, Balls. I was going to say, I think they may actually be intending to only apply that one character, but no, it doesn't seem so. You've been slowed down a lot now. I can speed you back up, but there's uh, not the most use for that. I could instead play you over here. They've still got a two... Uh, I don't... No, I don't believe that they're going to be able to play one of these characters again. So I could play you over here. You'd be very powerful. But... Now let's, let's speed you up. And make you strong. There we go. And... I can speed you up a little more, maybe. Let's summon in a wraith. Interesting. Overwhelm. Lowest combat attributes of all enemies standing on the battlefield. Wow, when you get played, you slowed everything on the battlefield down. Dead flesh. If another skill would deal poison damage to you, which does not kill you, you will regenerate health equal to the damage received. Bearing that in mind in the future. I wish it were possible to see the wraith that you're going to summon from the the item. Uh... Honestly, no. Go, go for these guys. Try and wipe them out as quickly as we can. The Wraith doesn't matter. It gets resummoned every fight. It can't really be killed. Which is very nice. So we're going to get through this with having taken only a single point of damage to someone who isn't instantly going to regenerate it anyway. There we go. 
And follow that up with another shield. Oh, you've actually got two cards, so I will play you behind. They are two different cards, too. Let's see, how are you going to play more cards? Okay. I am going to be a complete scallywag. Since I know it's only got two different cards, I'm just going to make it impossible for it to do damage. And then laugh. Ha 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 ha! Uh, so I'll just make you faster for the sake of it at this point. Lost sanity. Oh wait, no, that that's that was the health. <laughs> For a second, there, I was like, "Why did I lose a stat permanently?" No, 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 I understand that. My bad. Uh, Light sick human warrior. Okay. Wide amber robes. I oh, didn't have those. We have also got a shield though. And I think you shall have it. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to have to make a move all the way up there on the next turn. We can't really dally because I need the food. Ugh. And now we might not be able to make it. All right, fair enough. That's a massive pain in the bum, but it is what it is. We'd make it onto the hill and then have to stop. So, south we go. Pitch and camp. Wow, you can almost grab it in one go. Now you can. There we are. And I guess we just wait for now. Um, sure, let's start researching all of this where possible. Not cutting it close at all. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, we can actually make a move because we've now got four turns with the food. So sure, let's go and check out this ruin. Discover the ruins of an ancient human cemetery. As soon as you enter the gravesite, you feel something is amiss. Many of the gravestones are crushed, and the earth beneath them has been moved. Investigate. You go in closer and notice a figure sitting on a gravestone, crying. The figure shifts its shape from black cat to a mouse to a ghostly visage of a woman and back again. Demon Ozerka tried to figure out what this creature may be. Nature, you feel something unnatural. Investigate. Uh, Demon Ozerka. Drawing on your special rare knowledge, you recognize what's happening. These forms together suggest that this may be a Dola demon. They are usually guardians, especially fond of protecting young ones and bringing good fortune to those they choose. It's odd to find one here, alone. Ask what the dolor is doing here. You, you're living. Good. Oh no. No, bad. They will feed on you. Oh no. You hear movement accompanied by unnatural groans. You soon see the first unliving bodies looming behind a crypt. They haven't noticed you yet. Figure out a way to wake up the dolor and remind it of its duty to protect. The binding of these unliving is very weak and fresh. Using a 
cleansing ritual to break the bond and thus destroy them. Hmm. I think we're going to go with spirit, honestly. Let's unbind them. I think there's an outside chance we might get a ghost from this. And if we get a ghost, that may actually give us the seven, I think, we need for mysticism to guarantee that we'd be able to get a witch. And there wouldn't be a moment too soon either. We've got, we've got one turn! I'm not sure. Okay, okay. If this pans out the way I think it... it, it it's got a possibility. Okay, we're going to risk it for a biscuit, chat. We're risking it for a biscuit. Okay. Oh, let's begin. Obviously, straight in with the uh, heavy hitters, the primary cannons. Let's buff your damage and make you much, much faster. Yeah, true. You've, you, technically, you would take a lot, uh, a fair chunk more damage, simply because you've got armor. Uh, I'm not going to play that card, though. Enter. See what you play next. No, I'm still going to hold on. I will instead just buff you again. We now move first. We are going to do a lot of damage when we go. Enter. Okay, so it hasn't played this again. In which case, I am going to... Uh, sure, let's reduce your damage a little bit. Follow you up with another shield as well. Okay, perfect. Our first attack is going to do enormous damage to almost everything and just leave you on last life. Dark Avac Nuke. Ooh, I loved your Thea series on YouTube. I'm glad you did, mate. Very glad to hear that. Once again, just going to buff your speed. And going to weaken the enemies. They can no longer do any damage. Gonna just buff Dark Havoc's damage just for shiggles. And extra protection, once again, just for shiggles. The ritual works, and the unliving collapses where they stand. The creature who summoned them cries out as if in pain. No, my charge is dead. I failed again. Worry not, my dears. I will make you right again. Kill the demon as well before she summons more unliving. Bind the demon to your service with magic. This is risky and may end up cursing you, but it could work. 
Okay. Oh, we can bind. We may get cursed, though. Yeah. Bind the Doomsday Sword is, is risky. Yeah, we, we just got hit by a spiritual curse. A pretty whomping great spiritual curse, actually. 70% decreased mysticism. And we didn't come out of it with anything either. Well, that was a shame. It pretty much went the exact opposite way that we were hoping. It will happen like that sometimes. You gotta risk it for a biscuit now and then, though. But the biscuit was lost. Chat, you know what you have to do. Uh, we'll resist the entrancing charms. Maybe. Uh, no. 